एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम So welcome back to the second part of the video. In the first part, we have learned how to write down a triple integral, how to evaluate a triple integral, and how to find out the values of the limits for each of the variable with respect to which we would like to integrate. In this part, we will study with the orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. So it is clear that there will be triple integral since it is uh, in the continuation of triple integral. Welcome to East Chand Academy. Myself, Dr. Neelam. For more details, please refer to the book from East Chand Publishing. Details are given on this side, and link is given in the description box. So we will start with the orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. So orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. so a set of coordinates a set of coordinates let us say u x y z and v x y z and w x y z they are said to be orthogonal curvilinear coordinates if the directions represented by u v and w are orthogonal to each other then these coordinates will be called as orthogonal curvilinear coordinates now with each direction there will be one scalar attached which will be represented as h u h v and h w this is the scalar attached with direction u this is the scalar attached with direction v and this is the scalar attached with direction w the, you we can find since it is a scalar therefore we need to find the value of the scalar so this can be found out as del x over del u square plus del y over del u square plus del z over del u square and under root of this so this will be the scalar attached with uh, attached in u direction similarly we can write down the expression for hv that is del x over del v square plus del y over del v square plus del z over del v square and under root of this similarly we will be able to write down the expression for hw which which is very clear now that it will be del x over del w square plus del y over del w square plus del z over del w square and under root of this so this will be the scalar attached these are the scalar attached in u v and w direction now this scalar uh, quantity it's showing us the measure of the changes happening according to the position of the point so this will be the measure of the changes happening in the uh, position of the point so the, uh, we have understood that what do we mean by orthogonal curvilinear coordinates that if the directions represented by this set of coordinates are orthogonal to each other and with each coordinate there will be one scalar attached now uh, there are two types of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates so first one is cylindrical coordinates first one is cylindrical coordinates and second is spherical coordinates spherical coordinates so let us try to understand by the geometry that how to find out the cylindrical coordinates and how to write down the spherical coordinates so for cylindrical coordinates
cylindrical coordinates. Let us try to understand it by the geometry. So if this is let us say x direction, y direction and z direction, this is our point 0. This is our origin 0. Now, let us say that this is the point on this uh, uh, upper one. So, let me say that this point is P and let us say that this is the cylinder formed by them. So, we need to connect this. If we connect like that, then we will drop this perpendicular here and it will be this is the di uh, distance from uh, the origin we will drop the perpendicular on this so this will be the projection of p on this one so in this one the coordinates will be written in terms of x y and z so x will be written as so there will be three coordinates x y and z now we should understand that z will remain same as z and we need to find out how to write down this x and y. So, if this distance is, uh, let me say that this is rho. So, this will be considered as rho and this is cos phi and this is rho sin phi. And where this phi is the angle between this, the distance from the origin to this point P dash on x, y plane to x axis. So, this is the angle phi. So, that is how the cylindrical coordinates will be written. So, this was the point for which the coordinates were x, y and z for which they have been written here. We, we, we need to find out the projection of this p on the x, y plane. We need to drop the perpendicular and x and y axis and if this distance was rho and phi was the angle between the x axis and the projection of the p on x, y plane to uh, the origin. So, that is how the cylindrical coordinates will be written. Now, we will go to the spherical coordinates. Spherical coordinates. So, in this one also we have three axes. This is x, y and z. This is 0. Okay. Now, let us say that this is the point for which we need to write down the coordinate. So, this is p, x, y and z. So, we will find out the coordinate, the projection of this p on this uh, x, y plane and let us say that this is p dash. Now, we need to match this point from the origin and we will drop the perpendicular on this x axis and y axis and we will connect it with this origin. Then this angle will be called as theta and this angle will be called as phi. So we can see that theta is the angle between the z axis and the point and the, in the line connecting the point P with the from the origin. So, that is the angle theta and phi is the angle between the x axis and the projection of this point P on this x y plane. So, that is how we will we, uh, define the angle theta and phi. Now, we need to write down the expression for x, y and z. And uh, if, if this is taken as uh, r, so this is r sin theta, sin theta cos phi. This will be r cos theta cos phi and this will be r sin phi. Okay. So, that is how the spherical coordinates will be written. Now, we can uh, solve the questions in terms of cylindrical coordinates and a spherical coordinates using triple integral because there is an involvement of three variables x, y and z which have been written in terms of r, theta and phi. Now, what are the benefits of, right, of uh, getting this uh, cylindrical coordinates and spherical coordinates? Sometimes 
uh, whenever the, the shape are fixed, suppose some spherical shape is there, then it is always easy to write down that in spherical coordinates. Similarly, whenever cylindrical shape is there, it is always easy to get the expression in terms of cylindrical coordinates and then we need to find out the, the limits for x, y and z in terms of r, theta and z, uh, r or rho, whatever we say. And here, we are having three coordinates. So, x, y and z have been written in terms of r, theta and phi, where theta has been set as the angle between z axis and the line joining the uh, point P with the origin and phi is the angle between x axis and the projection of P on uh, x, y plane. So, that is how the spherical and uh, cylindrical coordinates will be written for any uh, question. In this part of the video, we have learned what do we mean by orthogonal curvilinear coordinates, how to write down the scalar corresponding to each direction of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates and then we have learned how to write down the cylindrical coordinates and spherical coordinates which are of the two types of orthogonal curvilinear coordinates. For more details, please refer to the book from H. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.